Hey, Remrov here. Uh, I just want to introduce you to this little uh, dude, this Furby. Uh, I found it at my mom's place. Um, I, um, yeah, I never got rid of it. So I must have bought it. <laughs> I, I must have bought it it's just more than 20 years ago, I believe. Um, uh, I remember I bought it when I was uh, um, still going to the Leo Connor house, which, uh, which was um, some kind of a clinic training center for autistic people. And that was right after I was diagnosed with autism. So I must have been 21 or 22 when I bought this. And now 42, so I still have it. And still working, it's pretty cool actually. Um, not everything though. Um, it's, it's a funny. His, uh, he has sensors on his belly. Um, well, the sensor on his belly is not working anymore, and on his back there's a sensor as well, it's not working anymore, but his mouth is still working. <laughs> it always made me laugh. This is so funny. I had to uh, reset it actually. It speaks Furbish again. It was always speaking English, but I had to reset it because I couldn't wake it up. <laughs> yeah, I, re I remember if you, if you do that long enough, like feeding him with his with your his finger in his little mouth, then after a while he's totally done and he starts to burp and fart. Let's see if we can make that happen. It always used to make me laugh. I think he's almost full. <laughs> oh, he starts to repeat himself now. <laughs> Now he likes it again. Oh, <laughs> oh, not a lot of birds. Oh, and he farts. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. Okay, he's quiet again. <laughs> well, we're going to say bye to this little fellow. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.